Money. I talked about it last Sunday morning. I want to refer to it one more time real quick. But just run, run, just run, wax fat and kick. God was looking for a people and he chose a man out of Earl Chaldees, Abraham, And said, Abraham, if you'll do my will, if you'll follow after my word, if you'll go by my instruction, <coughs> I'm going to make you the father of many nations. Your seed is going to be so, <coughs> so innumerable that it'll be like looking up to the stars of heaven. <coughs> I'll go to the seashore and try to count the sands on the beach. If you walk in my path. Now by faith Abraham went out looking for that. That he understood only by faith. He understood it only by faith. God said Abraham obey me and I will bless you. So Abraham believed. And he went out not knowing where he was going. But he believed and he followed after Elohim, Almighty God. The Bible said, you can have whatever you believe. And we're misinterpreted to think that means material things. God gives us a power to get well. Amen. But wealth is not what we're supposed to be sojourning after. We're looking for a city that hath foundations, whose builder and maker is God. Amen. Romans, the 15th chapter and the 29th verse. The Apostle Paul is telling the people at Rome that Rome was the most advanced nation of that day, the most advanced people of that day. And Paul is telling the people of Rome, those that were listening and following after Jesus Christ, Romans 15, 29, and I am sure that when I come unto you, I shall come in the fullness of the blessings of the gospel of Christ. What's it going to benefit me if I follow after Jesus? You can't prove it to God. You can't prove what you're preaching is true. Oh, yes, I can. Amen. I said, yes, I can. Because I understand through faith. And because I understand through faith, I can see God. Hello. Yes. Yeah. I said, because all of you turn off your text messages and your, your, your computer. I can see God. We're going to see God. Hallelujah. Where can I see God? He's invisible. How can I see him? He's invisible. Mallory sitting there with that little old machine in her hand. It's invisible, but it can go all over the world as I stated time and again. We went through the redwoods. Sally and I did for, again for another time. My little giant redwoods. I can see God. Yes. Yeah. Amen. I don't worship nature. I'm not a pantheist. I, I, I don't uh, uh, go up and make an altar in the hills and say I can worship God up here in the hills uh, as much as you can worship God anywhere and should be at all times. The Bible said we're to pray without ceasing. Paul said, when I come unto you, I'm going to come unto you with the fullest of the blessings of the gospel of Christ. Would a man rob God with the tithe in his offering? Bring you into the house where you get your bread, your tithe, and your offering. 
and try me and see if I will not open up the windows of heaven and pull you out blessings you cannot even contain. Amen. In my house. But I worship God on the golf course. I can worship God. I don't need to go to church. And if I go to church, don't take up a whole lot of my time, make me feel good, tell me how God uh, should be blessed having me in church and you talk for 15 minutes and, <coughs> and tell me how great and good and, and that God doesn't require anything of me. Do you know something? That when we fail to mature and to act and live responsibly, we are robbing ourselves. Paul said, I'm going to bring unto you the blessing of the gospel of Christ. The, the blessing, the gospel will bless you. How can the gospel bless me? You sit up there, not unless you stand, but you sit up there and holler, how can that bless me? Because if I can dig down through the word of the Holy Ghost down deep enough inside you and plant the seed and that seed find good ground and that seed grow, uh, I got news for you. It's going to give something on the inside of you that's greater and bigger and stronger and more powerful than anything on the outside. And so therefore you're not going to collapse inside when everything outside is collapsing. You're not going to be shut up. When the world's on fire, I'll live on. When darkness fails the sun, I'm going to live on. Why? The meek shall and have the earth. Glory to God. He's not going to leave me. He's not going to forsake me. He, he is not going to abandon his possessions. Glory to God. The fullness of the gospel. Hebrews 13 and 5. <coughs> I like the term fullness. It, it, it's uh, in the Greek, it plerama, repletion, completion, and fill up. Repletion. I had to look that up in Webster's Dictionary. Repletion. The state of being replete. Well filled or plentifully supplied, stuffed with food, drink, gorge. The state of having eaten and drunk to suffit. And suffit means agreed as an amount or supply. What do we do at Thanksgiving? <coughs> Amen. Glory to God. The fullness, the, listen to what Paul is saying. I'm going to bring unto you something that's going to fill you up, that's going to satisfy you, and it's going to be the word of God. How can I be filled up? How can I be filled? Well, that misinterpreted by many, but that means being filled with the Holy Ghost. How can I be filled with the Holy Ghost? Well, the only way you can be is be filled with his word. My words, they are spirit and they are what? Life. So when I come to you with the word of the gospel, uh, the spirit of the gospel, it's going to give you life. It, it, it's not going to rob you. It's not going to steal from you. See, God wants us to be able to live fullness of life uh, without destroying our life. Amen. They devil said, boy, you're going to go out there and, and, and uh, uh, have uh, fun. I was up this morning at, at Teresa's there like I do every Sunday morning. I go up there and usually, uh, most times, Father John, uh, from St. John Church, is there and we have a conversation, the conversation with others. But it took three there this morning with, that was ordering uh, the, those hog uh, or entros and, and what they call it, uh, a bowl of... Uh, Huh? Manudo. Yeah, I know some of you know. Manudo. You know. <laughs> and then we had such a good time at our reunion last night. I don't even remember what happened. <laughs> I can have a good time now and still remember what happened. Amen. I can be filled with the joy and the power and the spirit of God. I can be lifted up out of my misery. 